Hello, I, I've got another one, another concept. It's talking about missing out, fear of missing out, and um, trying to be there um, in a sense, sensible way. Um, in a very existential um, standard of living, um, just for the very unorthodox lifestyle that I had going into a very neat, tight, neat, tight, scheduled, uh, schedule, but like the toughness about, um, what I used to think of work, uh, was something that I felt like brought on familiarities that kind of wanted you to digest certain material in a different kind of way. Not to say that we don't have time, but to say that we kind of feel like as humans we have like a disposition that we can do better or that we can um that we can be part of other things that you know people call <laughs> we call vibes and, and uh yeah things but to stretch it out a little bit more with viability of things um just wanting to like you know, sometimes maybe have certain things you can kind of like pick from or, you know, in the customizable nature of, of what we have this, these days, it's like America plus like everything good that America brings about just because like sometimes, you know, you, <laughs> you really don't have to have a off-putting suggestion or you don't have to have um, decisive action uh, but what is approved upon has been so quite frankly just awe-inspiring so it's like you know sometimes maybe it might start from from you know what is good versus evil um, and what's overarching that and then maybe uh, beyond that I think like you can have you know just what is at stake or what's the purpose or you know, when and how does dissolution involvement happen um and if you think of it that way perhaps you know you just have an essence that equates to you know what you want to be a part of and then that kind of uh, familiarizes yourself to be be able to talk about fruition you know like like you know that there are fruits of God and then you know how like that could just certain, certainly become a brand, a mold, a difference. Um, and, and that like, you know, you tend to have nuances or maybe um, recognizable truths and traits, you know, and that becomes, you know, something that I feel like has always been a higher upbringing, risen, um, uplifting, motion that kind of like makes you uh feel special be special um kind of brings about like um how well you can determine between topical you know surface level and what is deep down inside um and that 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 part is kind of what drives certain people is to get to know the diversity of other people um and i think that one is, um, I, I do find that kind of like uh, one that should always be, I love tortoise. I love, to, if you take tortoise in the, ha the hair, I, I would suggest tortoise, you know, and, and um, in that fitting realm, I would say, you know, sometimes that guy, that girl, and talking about their perspective is like that person may not really want to, you know, you may not really understand what a person is a part of, but I'm not really speaking about personally. I guess I would say that like, just talking about wanting to be a part of something and trying to fill in those blanks kind of had been brought about from my long standing um, nature and history and, um, not long-standing history, but long, but long-standing 
uh, humanist, I guess you would put it, um, because you kind of think like, how special are you? And, you know, what can you be a part of? Um, and so I guess, like, when I say that, I go, okay, like, I think I could be a part of this and that. How do you, how do you do that? The reason why I speak a bit about this way is I feel like I, I wanted to do that, but how I'm going to do it was something that I felt like could have been and should have been and would have been or very, very nicely put, it kind of was something that distilled and, and gave people more common ground, but rather hopefully it didn't take away. Um, and that I like to say that that was, that was where it could have started. Um, and I always have this throughput in my mind that like, once I get, once I get the two, three steps forward, if you get beyond that, which to a lot of people, some people will may take decades to just be able to do that. How I measure myself, I often find in many different ways. Um, that could sound cocky, um, but regulated wise, you know, I don't find that you would need to show out how deep you are. Um, but I think it is pretty kind once you, once you have a full, almost evaluation of yourself, because you really know yourself that well. And then it kind of becomes... I don't want to say that you can illustrate your dichotomy, but you can have a conscious, conscientious approach. I mean, approach is a really good word, but if you have a conscientious touch and a conscientious uh, light away, you know, d distributing past and involvements and, and, you know, making, making a QB um, a want. Like that, that's something that could always relay a light to. And, and that's a different one too, just cause like I was speaking about how you keep, how you, how you keep yourself involved versus what you would want for others. And that goes so much different ways. So I guess what I'm saying is when, when you want, want to keep yourself involved because you're missing out on certain things. I mean, I think there was a lot of missing out on many different things. Like how, how could I be a part of that person? How could I be a part of that person and that person? I think that one's um, I think those are thoughts that that come along the lines of um, how well you can listen, and then I think um, how well you've achieved what you want to achieve, um, and then once you're able to like really get that fine line of um. Sometimes it's more than just yeah emotional stability. Sometimes it's, it's having both character and your own personality. Because character is built upon many, many of people and what they choose to think that what is cool. But not cool, but like how familiar or unfamiliar that character is. But like at a certain point, like I think, you would have maybe your own personality that like, you know, it doesn't have to be too far off, nor does it have to be um, so absent and unknown. But like, I think the middle ground that I'm, I'm, I'm trying to um, reconstruct is something that I find that I feel like I, I could even pick around what was really moving for me um, and I'm, I'm, I like, I do like to repeat it still. It's like, I see that a lot around and who actually, uh, revels in more than respect. I think revels in, um, in that there's a beautifying phrase, beautifying, um, defining momentum that, that people understand, like, you know, that it's in the Bible, but like how you would be able to explain it yourself is like man I, I know there's common ground to that too but sometimes your deep involvement might not 
might not match mine, not because we're off or anything, but that's that's how viable life is. It's just what I really want to say is sometimes there is definitely a higher calling and an upward thought process in that cloud space. I think that sometimes a running motion is not what what um, what is being thought as, but I think once you start to have the roles that you know can you really believe that someone can actually spread wisdom and um, proper functionality uh uh some life certain certain livelihood that could be recognized by people you never even met or do you think that human beings have really had a way forward um, without cornerstones? Or have you ever thought that, have you ever thought that no matter how low you get, no matter how high you get, there will always be people that understand your conscience. That's a difficult one. That's a difficult one. Or do you ever think that you could respect yourself so much that you would lose your life for God? What would that sound like? Because do you have respect for yourself? See, I don't even think, I think respect is just surface level. But I think in order to learn what life is really about, I think, yeah, you do have to kind of have a, have a, have a meaning, meaningful, very meaningful uh, persistence that goes beyond I would like to say it's pretty awesome when um, your listening skills almost like evolve to um, a higher calling, but um, it's different because I think a higher calling is something suggestive of a plane between you and spirit and God. But I think the calling that I'm talking about, not in effect of on the side or um, above or what happens after you do a lot. I'm just talking about in the calling of um, what your personal identity is. Um, could just be suggestively your name. Um, I think that calling is a uh, is so mildly particular because if say say you're you're trying to be popular, um, um, but you know that in order to be popular, you got to be like super different, super cool, or something like that. Um, the track that was going on was just like, if you're wanting to be able to do what I was talking about was the calling part, it's really cool if you become popular because you're a genuinely good person. And that's what I hope upon. And that's what I see a lot. Like, 
like with all these like maybe like YouTube personalities perhaps or um, you know like leaders that like really good really positive it's really but like more so calling that um, a calling that kind of makes you like realize like how important you are to people yeah, um, that could like kind of show out by giving you um, a semblance to know like your life is on the off beaten path off path um, and being able to pick up that um, to a lot of people like if you do it if you're able to do it properly you know really properly properly some may see that fascination as a forever exchange that like never that will never um differ or um that will never change like that could last a lifetime or a calling that kind of beckons you um and that one, that one was kind of difficult because, like, for me, I, I told people for a long time that I'm a feeler. That hasn't changed. But, like, beyond the anticipation route and predictable about route, like, um, wanting to be able to, like, be a part of another person's ideal because... Um, they feel like you're missing out or that that whole nature I feel like is a personal responsibility that kind of like will come about and it's a skill that some people can really have and they can hone in on um, just trying to like live in the moment with the people that you that know who you really are um, that one is probably the coolest thing I've ever been a part of because it kind of makes you feel like um, even no matter like what you're a part of, um, I don't even want to like downsize anything. And I always want to be honest. Um, and that accountability is that it keeps you honest. Um, and the reputable part of somebody is that um, while I feel like it was has become easier for me to recognize like good people, I think it's easier for me to know that I do not have to recognize uh, who the good people are um, because dutifully I feel like I am surrounded by good people, but second nature wise, like. It's, it seems like it does uh, matter um, how people are going about their days and things of that nature. And yeah, that takes a lot. That takes a lot for um, who, who's like, you know, really calling forth like for what. Um, and like that too makes a stamp, an approval or a statement because you like have so much have you have there is so much um there is so much um not knowing unknowns that you kind of like i think i i think i was able to produce this out of my own said fastness but like you really feel like you can just kind of have have more so than just an influence um and you kind of poke around sometimes too but like more so than just one regulatory influence um of being a regulator is just that like it's um there are particular peaks and valleys i think that some people will go through um and knowing the expectation that sometimes like um, that you can understand that you're being keyed on and then 
and other routes. You know, frankly speaking, it's it's open as open minded as possible. Um, I don't want to say that to begin that starts a challenge, but I think um, it gets really fun once you like really really try to hone in on that too. Um, and like, I always feel like um, some of the some of the nicest ways of doing um, what you should do actually uh kind of makes that makes that feel like you're you have an actual role because so much of what it is is that the roles of who you are kind of wants to bring out about character uh character and those roles i mean a lot of people could be disheartened um a lot of people may want to um you know just like it may just be like one of those things but sometimes when you kind of get invested um you really have an appreciation and sometimes it's just really fun like um knowing that that person that person agrees and knowing that like all the th those certain things that you used to doubt and things on nature and fear like there's so like uh and that you know, it's always one thing to um, think like, oh, to deem yourself as somebody that could be on a scale that has you recognizable by society, like that could be extremely egotistical. Um, but to be able to recognize your own uh, DNA your own fingerprint, your own essence, your own name, and your own identity, like, then you start to think like, man, maybe I am needed somewhere. Um, maybe you are meant for something higher. And so you can elevate yourself in that way. Like being able to hear, hear your own thoughts and things of that nature. Uh, could be ample for for somebody that um, is rediscovering or going through redemption. Um, you know, sometimes um, wanting to apply how you think and how you feel um, can be almost nerve wracking. So, I mean, I would say, you know, you be you, but also know that there's only one of you and, and, and I want to go on the side of like saying that don't, don't ever think that a lot of people are exactly like you or just because they understand how you think and feel that, um, they're going to have a sort of similar lifestyle as you, not to distance myself, I'm just saying for a forewarning, but as far as what the other nature of that goes, I think it would mean a lot if um if you could have like you know it would mean a lot a lot when you become somebody a sincere um a sincere personal security like seriously secure within yourself um for me that took forever that took um that took a lot it took a lot like just it's almost like trying to understand why we're recycling ourselves so much, but then finding out that like, yeah, like that green and blue side of you, um, no matter how red you've gotten, like that red and blue side, you really do need to understand, not, not need to, but like in the context of things, it would really be producing more um, if, if like, kind of, if you, if you took it upon yourself to like, be like, I want to not be my personal brand, but I want to be my personal revelation and representation of what I want to push forward. Um, like, that's why I feel like it's so special when you talk about common grinds, because like, 
a whole bunch of people can find a whole bunch of common ground, but you know, there's like we're going through daily living, it's like, man, what 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 would make that what would make that go? What would make that kind of like recognizable that you can actually um yeah, you actually uh personify some sort of nature that kind of has been kind of non-existent because i think you are kind of like furthering um furthering something not furthering as an objective but just kind of furthering um what means to be special and what means to be what other people want because like gosh dang man if you do look at what was um, if you do look at like what was very unnecessary is um yada 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 moving on i just want to say that um i just want to say but when it comes to when it comes to that calling there's going to be something that uh you can recognize right and there's going to be things that personally you probably know what to say and do um it's not too far off from having a a, a, a to b conversation um trying to understand that there's always uh over overwatch c um a b and c um that kind of helps out a lot like a lot a lot um having that wonder that you are not a divider um and that you don't always have to be a peacemaker um but that you eventually do want the most sincere of stability like that would that would be a teaching point for me um but i think i think yeah it does it does pretty well for one person to say that um they can actually have what they would like to call an evolved cell phone but like sometimes i don't i don't think that um i don't think that it's rarefied air i don't think it's rarefied that like um that i myself can have that calling amongst people really quickly and and it should be a revelation um calling does work in, in many different ways um it works in many different ways in many different facets it can hold you and it can remind you it can differentiate for you and it, and it could uh simplify things for you um it works wonders and also tells you things ahead of time and um information that's not squandered becomes information that's delighted uh, and beyond that character becomes uh, more joyous that's just how i feel like um it it took a lot to know what it means to be fully human um and so in that, like, I think you kind of don't want to miss out too, because like, you understand you really have a full um, care for like, what it means for quality to be met. And thus, if you're not lowering your expectations of yourself, then you see other people as um, dutifully being as responsible, um, because you do know that that uh, plane is there. And if you do know that plane is there, then um then customary community um customary community fruition is one that kind of like details or uh, reverses the the retrospect and kind of becomes like i don't know sometimes i feel like you can rework um kind of like that interstellar thing where like you kind of re can rework uh what's being told and and um yeah and that in itself is um that in itself is kind of almost sometimes i feel like pushing 
where mankind has been uh, so richly a part of in different parts of history. Um, and, you know, sometimes I think like the information side of us is, is probably the best part about us. Um, it's just that, like, I think that's, I think that's probably the coolest thing is when, um, people, people do have, people bring out things that are like way more different, but you know that it's like, what, what the heck is going on at the time? Um, and like that, and like, it's so cool seeing like the seriousness of that and the comedy side of that and like the full like you know care and desire and things of that nature to be a part of um and you know like just uh what, what would what would any kind human being want to say um to to the person that wants to get to know you you know even more um that's so tough and so I think that begins a new relationship a lot. And then what piques my interest a lot sometimes actually having um, a kind of um, fruitionable um, approach of how you communicate. Um, and then trying to find uh, different, not, like, and then being able to like, you know, go about what grace is that. Um, that was a cool one. That's a really cool one. Like, I think, I think like maybe even that, like we would really want to talk to each other about like, um, about like what, 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 what would, what would any person be able to tell another person, um, that they would believe it completely from another person, from another, um, from another space. And you know that what's being told is um, kind of like a from from a view away, you know. Um, there's so many possibilities, um, and, and like that. That's uh, I just feel like there's so many different kinds of um, values that they definitely do. Um, that kind of entertain themselves around each other. Cause like those values kind of like, um, kind of want to, it's like, it's like, um, it's like opening doors. It's opening more doors, having a set, a set of keys that, you know, that does, that doesn't limit itself, you know? And, and then, um, being able to speak through that, you know, it's always, it's always a fine tether, I think. Um, and like having what it could do um, to almost becoming, you know, better than a tree uh, and its vines. Um, like that, that one is uh, oh, so beautiful. Um, like just uh wondering like what the heck could one person do uh, with the right integrity and understanding that like other people are a part are part of that too um that one probably gets me uh, one of the most uplifted ways of human existence um one of the ways like it makes it so much more of just of a of a normal standard. Like that's what I'm saying. Like it it has been a normal standard, but like to be able to go through it over and over again, and then you're like, man, like there's something there's something special about this because da da da. da like going through it um, with different values and going through it uh, with both creative and um, inequalities, um, does definitely help. 
it will it will it will bring about change. I think it will bring about um, more than just personal comfortability. I think it brings about personal. It does bring about um, how much a human being can dive into um, what they want to fully represent. I think that was a conscientious part that like I think I had difficulty with because when I was growing up, I'd always say like, if you really want it, you should do it. You know, and um, I think that one was difficult because like I wouldn't want to say like you should you shouldn't really like sometimes maybe that I'd be like man why is that person complaining sometimes maybe I'd be like you know that that's not that tough but like when it gets down to it like you kind of understand like. <clears throat> What would what what would it be if it was anything else than um than if it wasn't so uh, of a light of a light kind of thing like I, sometimes I think um, sometimes I think man it like you wouldn't really have to be so undervalued and things of that nature. I think I'm losing my place just because I didn't want to speak about um. I don't want to speak about how people, I, people have tough lives. A lot of people have tough lives. A lot of people have responsible living. I just, I'm just from an unorthodox lifestyle that I think I would, I would have been pretty good with, um, um, a white collar, blue collar job. And, um, it just took so much for me to realize like what, what it meant for me to be a human, um, and then for me to actually think like we're here to actually help people and bless people and um we're actually here to like live out a life that's not so so much of what could have been um per se because you know like when somebody may have introspection about one but their own life they might not have the right measurements and so they may have like a difficult understanding of like what is fair and what's not fair and then they may look at other things and be like and compare themselves to other other things um and you may even want to do rebellious things just because heck this person did it too and that person did it too like that stuff you may or may be I've lived that kind of thing, and while I don't think it's, I don't think it's exactly what you need ever. Um, I think the really awesome part is knowing that like eventuality is something that isn't the end of all like gray matter, dark matter stuff, things where it gets depressing, but also for the fact that like. I think I also have lived a life where I'm at a part where my long-term lifestyle is fully recharged. So like, I, I never really speak about myself like a machine, but it's just like, why would I momentously carry myself in long-term envisionment that I don't want to be a part of? Um, those are difficult standings, but I think I would really want to tell people like, at the end of it, it does end up being more of a way more of a positive thing. And it becomes more of like a it's not it's not on my tippy toes trying to um wander about. It's uh it's more so like there's serious security and peace that um had lasted me a long time actually. Uh, it's just, you know, certain decisions. It's just, um, I really think I'm in a good state, um, through personal experience. And, uh, I do actually think it's a little bit more of a, a daily kind of living, um, that rotates because like, you know, if you don't have rotation, you're flat. And if you don't have 
um, and we don't have newsworthy congregation, then you're not going to be uh, demonstratively opinionated about the correct things. And if you don't have um, a distinguishment between, you know, what is fair for the people, um, then integrity loses. Um, and if you don't, if you don't have, um, if you don't have somebody that has actually been through it all, then um, not all, but has been through a lot, then you're not really going to be able to understand the strength of that person um, because you outrightfully don't want to listen. Um, that strength of that person um, could be so many different things. Um, perhaps I'm speaking about my resilience. Um, I think there's a lot of resilience that could be found um, for somebody. But all I'm saying is that what would be so much more rather than escape is to have some, some sort of special pathway. Or what I would like to say is it is kind of an escape, but it's still with the community of people. Um, and so like that couldn't have uh, really stopped me uh, to think that, you know, this was once something that I felt like was supernatural. And that's the base, you know what I mean? Like that's the base. Like I would, I would say that like that, if you could consider anything as common ground as supernatural, like that's like that's pretty worthy of trying to imagine what it would be like um, to understand how much you have to have solid structure, but also it is almost effortless. Um, not to say that I'm talking about the ideas or anything, but I'm just trying to say that like being able to communicate um, to the tether is, is kind of like, it's just a really fun space. It's a really light, like an easy space. Um, and yeah, so like that finite um, of quality of, um, quality of perhaps trying to listen to your calling um, doesn't, doesn't have to like require, um, too much, uh, too much abnormality, too much differences. But I think, uh, I think your, um, your particular like mannerisms and attitudes and, um, just like really positive vibes and good nature like that, uh, that could really change people's daily living. And if you start changing, start changing people's daily living, then, uh, then I think you're on, you I think you're on the right path. Like you, I think you're really on the right path. That being said, peace out.